so now another example find lcd of 5 divided by 7 3 by 5 and 9 by 15 so we will do this by second method which we learned so using method 2 the first step is finding the prime factors so the prime factors of 7 are just 7 and 1 the prime factors of 5 are 5 and 1 and the prime factors of 15 are 3 and 5 and 1 second step is what are the different prime numbers which occur in these prime factors so the prime numbers you put prime numbers on one side so prime numbers which occur in this is are 3 5 and 7 and what is the maximum occurrence of these numbers maximum occurrence of these numbers any of these maximum occurrence in any of these so 3 occurred only once 5 occurred only once here and once here the maximum occurrence of 5 is also 1 so in any 1 we are looking at the maximum occurrence in any 1 so 7 also occurred maximum 1 time so they all occurred 1 times 1 times 1 times and 1 times so therefore the LCD would be 3 multiplied 1 time multiplied by 5 multiplied only once and 7 multiplied once so you multiply all these three and you will get the LCD which is 105 this was another example now the same method if we want to use on some large numbers like for example find LCM of 14 20 21 and 50 so now we have four numbers so first we find the prime num prime factors of these numbers so prime factors are 14 you can see the video if you are not comfortable what I am doing there is a video for prime factors so the minimum number which is divisible by 14 is 2 7 then the minimum number is 7 so 1 when we get 1 we multiply these two so 14 can be written as 2 multiplied by 7 or you can put 1 as well then the prime factors are 20 first find the minimum number divisible by 2 is 20 is 2 then again minimum is 2 5 times and now the minimum is 5 which is 1 so 20 the prime factors of 20 are 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 5 similarly prime factors of 21 minimum prime number is 3 7 then 7 is 1 again the prime factors are 50 the minimum number is 2 25 then 5 because 3 is not divisible 5 plus 2 is 7 7 is not divisible by 3 so 25 is not divisible by 3 so 5 the next is 5 so 5 and then 1 when we get 1 we multiply these 3 so the prime factors of 21 are 3 into 7 and prime factor of 50 are 2 into 5 into 5 the second step is we have to see what prime numbers what different prime numbers are occurring in their prime factors and what is the maximum occurrence so we can see that 2 is occurring in few places 3 is occurring in few places in fact only one place and 5 is occurring in few places and 7 is also occurring in few places so what is the maximum occurrence of 2 in any of these any of these the maximum occurrence of 2 in any of these so the maximum occurrence of 2 can be found in 20 where 2 occurred 2 times 2 times 
what is the maximum occurrence of 3 in any of these? Maximum occurrence in any of these is only once, one time. The maximum occurrence of 5 is 2 here. The 5 occurs 2 times in this one. So 2 times. And what is the maximum occurrence of 7? Well, once here, once here. So the maximum is still 1. Only one time. So now LCD of 14, 20, 21 and 50 equals 2 2 times, multiply 2 2 times, multiply 3 1 times. So multiply 2 2 times, multiply 3 1 times, then multiply 5 2 times, multiplied by 5, multiplied by 5, then multiply 7 1 times. So you multiply all these 4 into 3 12 into 5 60, 60 into 5 300, 300 into 7 is 2100. So this will be your answer. Use this method to find the LCD of reasonably large numbers like these were 4, 14, 20, 21, 50. But if the numbers are larger than these numbers, then this process could be a lengthy process. So for those type of situations, we have a third method of doing this, which is basically a new form of the second method of finding the LCM, which we are going to learn next. Okay, let us do the same example, which we have done uh, with the method two, which is 14, 20, 21 and 50 and we have to find the LCM of these three numbers. So by doing this with method 3 it will be easy for you to see the, see the advantage of this method. So this is our method 3 of finding LCM. So in this method we are essentially finding the same thing, the maximum occurrence of any prime numbers. And we are using the similar type of formulation of the problem which we have done in prime factors. So what we are going to do is, we are going to write all those four numbers here. Better if you write in ascending order, less chance of a mistake if you write in ascending or descending order. By using the divisibility rules, and don't forget that divisibility rules are again applicable here and we are using these divisibility rules to quickly find out which number is divisible. So what is the divisibility rule by two for 2? If there is at the end there is any even number or a 0, the number is divisible by 2. This is not divisible by 2. So this is divisible by 2. So we take 2 here. And 7 times, 10 times, not divisible by 2, so we we'll keep it like that. And 25. Now we still have 10, which is divisible by 2. So we will be doing 2 until at least we have one number which is divisible by 2. We will only use 2. So we will take 7 like this, 5. This was the number which was divisible by 2. So now 21 is not divisible. We keep it like this, 25. So since there is no 0 at the end or no even number, so no, none of these numbers is divisible by 2 now. So now we can move on to 3. So 7 is not divisible by 3. 5 is not divisible by 3. But 21 is because 2 plus 1 is 3. The divisibility rule says that if the addition of the two integer is divisible by 3, the number is divisible by 3. So yes, 3. So we keep 7 and 5 as it is and then we find 7 and 25 as it is. No, no, no number is divisible by 3, so we move on to 5. So now 7 like this, 5 is 1, then 7 is like that. 5 is, 25 is 5 times. There is one number which is divisible by 5. 
so we have 7 1 7 and 1 again 7 1 1 1 1 so now we multiply all these numbers and we get the LCM very simple so LCM equals 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 7 2 into 2 4 into 3 12 into 5 16 into 5 300 into 7 2100 so essentially what we are trying to find here is we are dividing this until any one of these is divisible by 2 so this is the maximum occurrence of 2 which we were trying to find in the previous method then we keep dividing until any one of these any one of these because we are taking any of these numbers so the maximum occurrence of 3 is 1 then we find out that the maximum occurrence of 5 is 2 because one number was there 25 which was divisible by 5 two times so this is the maximum occurrence of 5 and the 7 it has only one maximum occurrence one times so this is essentially the same method which is the method 2 but we can quickly solve it because we are doing all these things simultaneously so we are performing all these operations simultaneously so this simultaneous operations give us an advantage in time this is the best method of finding the LCM for large numbers you must always know the divisibility rules for 2 3 5 and then the number will be reduced to very low numbers and then you can immediately see if there is any 7 or 11 or 13 or other prime numbers because you are doing this two repeatedly and due to this repeated division by two the number will be reduced to much smaller numbers and then you don't have to uh, memorize divisibility rules for very large prime numbers if you know the divisibility rules of 2 3 5 you use this method and you will be fine so these are the three methods of finding lcm or LCD. LCD is just when these numbers occur in the denominator of fractions. So we will use the same method. So I hope this makes sense and this is enough for LCM and LCD.